Hey, I'm Seth with Land the House. You're watching the Build a Shed series. In the previous two videos, I installed the footers and then the base here. Now it's time to build the trusses for the roof. Now, if you've never built a shed before, you do the trusses now before the walls go up so you can use the edge of the building here, edge of the foundation, as your markers uh, to hold the trusses in place. It works out pretty good. All right, let's head over here and set this up for the first one. Oh yeah, quick disclaimer, I'm just a homeowner building a shed. Not a professional, just use this video for entertainment purposes, and if you find some helpful tips, great, but uh, definitely contact a professional before you build. My foundation is 14 foot, and I have already marked out the center point here at seven feet. So what I'm going to do is move my boards to the edge. I've actually already marked them once to, to kind of see what's going on, but uh, so I'm moving this to the edge here. And then I am going to match the top up with my seven foot mark, as I've got right here. And what I've done, the uh, pitch that is here, I wanted there to be a uh, six inch overhang on my eaves. And so that's what I've got there. So it's somewhere around a, uh, a four. So if we were to move this out to match that up, uh, let's see on our edge there doo, doo, doo. Yeah, so anyway, here's our four here, but I've got that marked out. So I'm gonna be actually Doing that on both of these. I hope this makes sense to you Yeah, and I've actually already put my pencil mark here where that's gonna be So what I want to do is put out some blocks that will allow this um, set up to be consistent with each one. Blocks are scrap pieces of wood that will be drilled into the base here to maintain this shape. So I can do a couple of these along here and it will keep these boards into position. Um, Dad. Yes. I'm going to draw on the side. Okay. We had several days of rain, but I'm back out here working. Let me go ahead and build one of these trusses for you so you can see what I do step by step. Now there's a ton of things you could do to make this more complicated. I just want a straightforward support system for the roof. So got a two by six. I'm gonna set it down here into the blocks that we installed before. And let me show you what I'm doing right down here at this spot. My shop width is 14 foot. So I've marked at seven foot here for the center line. I'm gonna move my truss piece here so that the top is right on that center line. I've got a couple of screws sticking up here on the line. I'm just going to take my speed square on the outside here and just draw that line. And that is gonna be the center cut I need to make for this one. And then we'll put one over here and do the same thing. With the two two by sixes together, I'm gonna be using plywood gussets. And so what I want to do is just line up my bottom corners and have the center about in the center. And this is somewhere around a foot by about six or seven inches. And I want to make sure that I don't have any of these corners sticking up over the top here. So I'm just gonna come back here and kind of make a mark and just trim these off right in that area so that they won't stick up above the, uh, the top. To keep these gussets in about the right spot, just draw a couple of pencil marks. And I'm gonna use some more of this liquid nails it's a contractor's adhesive. Just make a good 
blob there. Stick the plate back on. Once again, making sure that the top is not um, being covered or extended. And then I'm just going to put a bunch of these two inch screws on this side. And then I'll turn it over and do the same over on the other side. So most of the holding force is going to be that adhesive. But I still want to put enough screws in here. It's quite the spider. Now whenever my walls are built on the side, I'm going to have rafter ties that will connect right around here and span the whole distance of these trusses and help keep the walls from uh, bowing out. But I'm also going to do a support here uh, midway up. So I'm going to do a five foot piece that stretches from here over to this side, which means I'm just going to take a 10 foot two by four, cut it in half and use that to uh, to match there in the middle to give it a little bit extra strength. And I'm just going to be using some more plywood gussets here. You could make some pretty fancy cuts right here to uh, get this board to butt right up against this, but we don't get much of a snow load here. I think we'll be just fine. I'm gonna go ahead and mark it two and a half feet to uh, hit the midpoint of this. I'm gonna match that up on my line down the center. Okay, and then just like before, I'm gonna use some plywood gussets with the adhesive to go right here and over here. My gussets here are about eight inches, which uh, keeps them from being too long here. This side is done. I'm gonna go ahead and flip this up. Yeah. We'll get this flipped over real quick so we can, the other side can be done, just like that one. So uh, one gusset here in the middle and then the two on the side as well. Okay, and there we have it. That one is done. Once that adhesive is uh, dry or cured, this should be nice and strong. And like I said, I'll have a rafter tie at the bottom, which will kind of tie all this in together. And uh, hopefully it won't be able to sag down any. Uh, if you can see over in the background, I've already got a couple others made. so. I'm going to turn off the camera and get to work making a bunch of these and I'll bring you back when they are all complete. All 11 of the trusses are done now. Nine of them are the same and two of them are different. Let me show you what I mean here. So these nine right here stacked up are all the same uh, pitch. Actually, they're all the same pitch, but this one has a gusset plate on this side and on this side, as you can see. And that means that it will be in the center of the building. These two right here will be the, um, the gable end, I guess is what it would be called. And just means that there is no plate back here on the back. So uh, now that I have these built, I'm going to be setting them off to the side so I can start getting the walls made. But do remember that there will be a rafter tie that goes from the corner over here all the way across the bottom to this side. And it will attach into the uh, truss itself. So it should be plenty strong enough to uh, hold up any of the snow load we have around here. The most snow I've ever seen in this area was uh, 16 inches. Lasted a couple of days and... Um, it wasn't too bad, so hopefully this will be pretty good. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next part where we start building some walls to this shed. Bye.